Hey everyone, it's Fan Request Friday where we draw from a hat all the different fan requests we get because we get a whole bunch, don't have time to film them all. We have them in a little raffle here. I'm just going to get out the hat, mix it up a bit. Whoa! Going everywhere. And today we're going to be teaching a song requested by Wen C and it's we're going to be friends by the White Stripes. So let's do it. Ball is here, hear the yell, back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walking blues, climb the fence, books and pens. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Hey everyone, it's James here from goodguitarist.com and in today's lesson, we're gonna show you how to play We're Gonna Be Friends by the White Stripes. And this is actually a really simple finger picking tune. It only uses your thumb and your finger, really basic chords, it's a really fun little tune. So there's not too much to say about it. Um, if you need any help with the chord shapes, there's a link down below in the description to our free ebook. It's free for all of our subscribers and it has all the foundational, you know, super basic stuff. So if you're just getting started, it's a really good idea to just go through that. We have a couple ebooks out actually. There's a rhythm one and a lead one. So if you're interested in getting a foundation in either of those, please just check out the link down below. If you find that you're really getting a lot of help from our lessons and you're really enjoying them, I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to help support us and that can just be as simple as pressing the thumbs up or subscribing to our channel, or you can check out our ebook, visit us on our website, goodguitarist.com. Either way, we're gonna start out with the chords here. And first we have a G chord, and there's a couple ways you can play it. Normally we play our G like this, or without that finger, like this. And in this tune, Jack White does both of those. During the first chorus, he does it this way. In the second chorus, he does it this way. I don't think he's too picky with which one he's using, so we're not gonna be too picky. You can use any one of those, it's totally cool. Then we have a C chord, and we play our C just like that, normal old C chord. Try to not play that lowest string. You know, we wanna miss it, or mute it with the tip of our finger there. See the tip of my finger's touching it there? After that, we have a D chord. And for D, we're not gonna hit the bottom two, just the top four strings. And from there, we go to C add nine. So when I'm making the switch from D to C add nine, I'm sure to leave this finger down. See, I have my D chord. And then I can leave my third finger down and switch to C add nine. That kind of saves us a bit of time, makes the switch a little bit easier. So if this is a new chord to you, I recommend just practicing that change from D to C add nine a couple times. So now that we have the chord shapes down, let's take a look at the chord order. We start off on a G chord. So let's just strum it together here. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, or we do another bar of G. Get ready to switch to C. One, two, three, four, and back to G. Two, three, four, D for only two. C add nine for two, and then G. Two, three, four, D. Two, C add nine. just repeat that a whole bunch of times so it's actually really simple really straightforward and you may have noticed that I actually scuffed that C add 9 because I took my finger off you know when I was playing it I took the whole thing off and then I had to make the C add 9 from scratch because I I was in my brain and I switched to C made a little mistake I should have left that finger down so that's a lesson anyways before moving on make sure that you can play through the chords just like we did you know, counting along, you can rewind the video or you could do it on your own and just count out the right number of downstrokes for each chord. That way we can get our chord hand used to switching at the right time. You know, you wanna be switching right on beat one and you wanna have the right amount of every chord. So make sure you count it out and once you're comfortable with that, we can move on to the finger picking. So the finger picking, for the most part, goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
So we're just using our thumb and our first finger to do all the finger picking. You don't see this type of finger picking too often. You'll definitely see it in old blues music, which makes sense because Jack White's heavily influenced by blues music. So he obviously would pick up some of the techniques from it. And the most important thing to notice is that we're alternating between thumb and finger. So let's just play a G chord here. We're gonna put our thumb on the lowest string and we're gonna put our finger on the third string. Let's just start there. Thumb, finger. and simple and once you're used to that let's go between hitting this string and the second string so our finger is going to alternate our thumb is going to keep playing the same note so that's pretty straightforward and that's what we're going to be doing on the G chord one two counting it, we basically count every time our thumb hits the low string. So it's like one, two, three, four. And when we switch to the C chord, it's exactly the same, but the only difference is our thumb is going to play the A string. It's going to play the fifth string instead. Otherwise, everything else is the same. See, everything else is the same. Just our thumb is hitting the fifth string. So take a moment and practice the finger picking on the G chord and then the C chord and then practice switching between the two like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just go back and forth between the two. And it doesn't matter what order you pick these two strings in except during the we are gonna be friends when we do the D C add nine when we do that part that's the only time it really matters otherwise if you watch the recording you'll see that he'll reverse the pattern so instead of playing it like this he'll play it like this So he's going for this string first instead of this one or vice versa and that's completely up to you just listen to the recording use your best judgment and it doesn't really matter which way you play it it's going to sound great either way so once you've practiced going between g and c there's really only one other part we need to take a look at and it goes like this so there the picking order actually does matter We'll start off on our D chord, and for D, our thumb is going to be playing the D string. So we have to switch our thumb one more time for this chord. And our first finger is going to play the top two strings, like this. And that's it, that's all we have to do on the D chord, so... Then we switch to C add 9, nice quick switch. And here, we're just gonna play these two strings. So our thumb is playing the fifth string because it's a C chord. It's a type of C chord. And then our first finger, we're just playing the B string here. And we just do that twice, that's it. So it's just like this. When you put that together, We switch to G and here we're reversing the order we're doing this one first so that whole thing slowly all together one more time and then we'd be on to the next verse. So now that we've figured out all the little bits, let's practice putting it together. We're just going to play along together nice and slow and just go through the verse of the song. So let's try it now. One, two, three, four.
next bit, we're going to need one new chord shape, and that's an A chord. And if you watch the music video, you'll notice that he's actually playing it with one finger like this. So do it whatever's comfortable for you. It's really quick to switch to one finger, but it does require a little bit of strength and finesse. It's totally up to you though, as long as you get an A chord in there somewhere. And the rest of the chords are ones that we've already done. So let's see the chord order for this next section. We'll just play through it with downstrokes, nice and simple, and then we'll play it with the picking pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, switch to G. Two, back to C. And back to G. We're just going between C and G a couple times. Now we have that A chord for two measures, and then C, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. And when we're picking this, we're going to use the same fingerings that we did in the previous verse. So for G, our thumb is going to be on the lowest string. For C, our thumb is going to be on the fifth string. For D, going to be on the fourth string and for A it's going to be on the fifth string the A string makes sense you know that the root of A is the A string so now let's practice applying the strumming pattern to that really simple chord progression one two three four by the White Stripes. It's a really fun, simple finger picking tune. The actual picking is not very complicated. The chords aren't very complicated. And you can kind of just experiment with it because like I mentioned before, when you listen to the original recording, he sometimes reverses the patterns, kind of just doing whatever he feels like. You got to definitely stick to the correct roots. So make sure your thumb is playing the right string, depending on which chord you've switched to. And It'll kind of help you clear up your chords too. I find finger picking songs really show you which strings you're not getting on particular chords. Like if I have my C chord like this, it sounds great, right? But if I pick each one, you know, I find out that that string's not working too well. So finger picking really helps you identify whether or not your chords are 100% solid, gives you a really good opportunity to work on that. And other than that, it's just a cute little song. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Have fun practicing the tune, and we'll see you next week.